create your first lead capture page. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to build your first lead capture page so that you can start building your list using your autoresponder. This lesson is going to show you how to create a lead capture page using a coupon. If you have not ordered your inventory, then you can skip this lesson until you have, just like the autoresponder. You will not need a lead capture page until you have inventory live on Amazon. A lead capture page is a page that we use to add customers to our list in our autoresponder. We do this by capturing their email address. We send customers to this page from our inserts and from all our social accounts too. Email is the best online marketing tool available. It converts, it converts far better than any other medium. The elements of a lead capture page. Title, it needs to grab the customer's attention. Image, again, it needs to grab the customer's attention. If you haven't got a fascinating image, then just make sure it stands out on the page. Description, explain the offer so the decision becomes a no-brainer for the visitor. We normally use bullet points for the description. And the opt-in form, this is where the customer enters their information. Lastly, the offer button, a clickable button to complete the form. Now we're going to be using lead pages because lead pages has become the market leader by some margin. Creating a lead capture page with it is fast and easy. And you can duplicate and edit existing pages with a few clicks. And it integrates with a host of online services, including Wix. And lastly, it can also create a lead capture page on your Facebook page, which is incredibly powerful. Okay, so I've used the link and I've come through to lead pages. And the first thing you need to do is just click on get lead pages, assuming you haven't already got an account. And it'll bring you through to the prices. The first thing I suggest you do is change it to monthly. You see the prices go up. And the one you want to choose is standard. So just click on the buy now under the $37 a month option, the standard option. And then just fill in all your account information and your credit card and then click submit order. Then when you've created your account, you just want to click on login. And it's automatically logged me in because it remembered my information. But this is the page you're going to come to. Now you won't have anything here in these two boxes. This is just showing me two lead pages I've created before for previous training. But I'm going to go ahead and start one from scratch. So once you're inside, all you need to do is click on create new page and it's going to bring you to the templates page. Now always use drag and drop. Do not use standard. Drag and drop are far easier to set up and look a lot better too. And they're continually adding more and more templates. But you can scroll down, look for one you like. Essentially, we're just looking for something where we can show a picture of our product, add a title and description, and obviously the button. If I just keep scrolling down, and in fact, they've added so many templates, the one I want to show you as an example is now on page two, and it's this one. It's called the perfect squeeze page. So you can actually search for that one too. But right now, it appears to be on the second page then all you need to do is put your mouse over the template you want to use and click on use template. Then you need to give the page a name and I'm just gonna call it Charter Kitchen Coupon and then click start building. Now Mike did show you three different options you can use. I mean, you can use any option you want really. And the one we're gonna use that he brought up was the coupon code. So I'm calling it Charter Kitchen Coupon. But for instance, if you wanted to use the extended warranty, you could call this Charter Kitchen Extended Warranty. But let the fun start. Let's click on start building. And here we go. I'm just going to give you a very quick tour of what's on the page before we actually start editing. If you put your mouse over the actual screen, and this is everything in white on the right here is what your page is going to look like, you'll see that it highlights what's there. So if I put my mouse cursor over the image, you can see that that box is for the image and the rest follows too. And literally to edit anything, you just click on a box. And you'll see exactly what I mean when we get started. But what you can always do is preview. So if you click on preview, it's going to show you what your actual page looks like. So this is what your page would look like, whether it's on lead pages or whether you put it on your own domain, no matter where you put it, this is what it's going to look like. Now you can see it's got the logo up here. There's no title at the top. I'm not too worried about that right now. It looks pretty good. It's a nice looking lead capture page and it converts too. I've used it quite a lot in the past and it definitely converts. But I'm just gonna click on exit preview to go back and we'll get to work. You can include your logo 
and this box here you see it's empty you can go and put a title in there but I just want to pull all the information up a bit for this example I'm not going to use an overall title for instance you might want to put in here charter kitchen offers or just charter kitchen the name of your brand however I don't want to do that I'm not going to include those things if I want to get rid of it I can click on delete and I can do the same with the logo however if we want to come back and edit this later to add a title we decided it didn't look great then we'd have to drag a new box across and mess around there's a quick way of dealing with stuff you don't want on your page and that is to click on this gear setting in the top left and click on edit section layout so if I wanted to get rid of the logo and the header I would come to the header scroll across you can see delete I don't want to do that and you can do that from the page as well duplicate I definitely don't want another one and then you see this eye icon and it shows visible just click on it and boom it's removed the header section so you can see it's moved everything further up the page now I happen to know from previous experience it also has something else I don't like which is the as seen on and and if you've been on TV or anything like that you can put the stuff in here but I'm not too particularly bothered about this section right now and just remember you can play around with this as much as you like and get your landing page looking exactly how you want it to look I just want to show you how to edit and create the page and also connect it to your autoresponder which we'll get to but the rest of it you can play with it as much as you want and change as much as you want so I say I want to get rid of this the footer is the legal information we want to keep that but the featured in you can see as seen on that box it's been surrounded with the blue line which means we're on the right box and then I just move my mouse across and click on visible again and boom it's gone but we're getting a little bit more like it I'm gonna click on the X to get out of the page layout and then let's have a look so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the title to do that all I have to do is click in the box and you can just double click and it will highlight everything And I've just changed it to silicon spatula set 20% off coupon code now if you're not 100% keen on how it appears what you can do is highlight it all and then it's gonna bring up this black box underneath and you can choose to bold, italicize, change the color. What I'm going to look at is the font, which is A. You can see here the double A. Click on that. And what's really cool about this is you can actually just drag the size, make it smaller, make it bigger, and you basically do whatever you want. But I played around with it a little bit more, so I'm not particularly keen on having three lines here. So I'm just going to make it one smaller, and I've got it on two lines. It's not perfect. I would prefer the 20% to be on the next line, and you can actually do that if you mess around with it a lot. But I just wanted to show you how you can change the sizes and you can also change the fonts you can pretty much do anything you want to do with the lead page with lead pages it's awesome but I'm gonna click outside and there you go silicon spatula set 20% off coupon code and then we're gonna edit this subheader you can actually remove this if you want or use it it's completely up to you so I've just typed in luxury quality silicon spatula set and we're just trying to make the customer think that this is something they definitely want and then for the bullet points I'm actually gonna to go to Amazon and look at their bullet points because I want to put in some information about the product and this is just an example I'm just pretending that this is actually my product and it definitely isn't but I'm gonna copy the first bullet go back highlight the first bullet paste it in see if there's anything else useful bullet points you're basically looking for things to point out to the customer why they should do this why they should grab this coupon code so it's not just that they're getting a 20% off discount now I'm gonna put a little call to action in here you can see I put grab your 50% coupon right now while stocks last and you should have the call to action right above this arrow I'd still like to add a bit more information so I'm going to go back to Amazon now so I've just made a couple of changes I've still got the grab your 50% coupon right now while stocks last and but I've added plus get future offers just for registering today you just want to make it as appealing as possible now the next thing I want to do is actually grab our product image now the product image is not going to be great because it's a silicon spatula you know <laughs> at the end of the day it's a pretty bland product but you want to choose an exciting image of your product something that's going to grab attention and lifestyle images work really well and we'll actually be talking a lot about lifestyle images in the next two modules but I'm going to go and grab an image of the silicon spatula set and actually just before I do that I just wanted to show you one other thing and that is the undo button now it works great but you will find that lead pages automatically saves your work for you on a regular basis so if you come back five minutes later for instance if I wanted to change that last line I'd have to manually delete it I, the undo wouldn't work but if I was in here now for instance I've just removed the exclamation marks if I wanted to put them back all I do is click on undo and there you go they're back but I just want to quickly show you that but let's go back to our image so all you need to do to change the image is click on it and then below you'll see style link and then a 
picture image. You just want to click on the picture image and then select upload. And then you can either drag your image here or you can click on or select file. Now if you click on your images, it will show you the images that you've uploaded. Now the other thing is lead pages will store your images. So if you created a page today with a certain image and then came back three weeks later and you want to create a different page, your images will actually be stored. But I'm just going to show you the upload. So you can drag your image here or you can click on select file. I've double clicked on it and there's our image and it's just uploading right now. And you don't have to worry too much about the title and the alt text. We're not really going for SEO here. And then I'm just going to click on insert. Now, obviously we have an, an issue. The image is way too big. So I'm obviously going to have to edit this image. So I'm going to go back. So I've resized the image. I'm just going to click on the upload again. I've uploaded it. You can see it's loading. And then I'm going to click insert. Now, you can see that's much better. It's, it's not pushing our button down. Remember, we want our button in plain sight as much as possible. And in fact, it actually aligns better with the arrow now. But we're getting there. So we're almost there. We've got a title, description, which is basically the bullet points in this case. We've got our image, and now we're going to play with the button. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the wording. And I've just changed it to yes, send me my coupon code. So we're pretty happy with everything we can see on this page right now. But the next thing we need to do is to add our autoresponder and also to edit our light box. The light box is what you're going to see in a second. First of all, click on the coupon code button and then select the fourth option, the link. In the box that comes up, click on view edit. Now, now when you do this, you will actually have the default message that comes with this theme. But I've gone ahead and actually made the changes already. So I've changed it to yes, send me my coupon code, enter your email address below to receive your coupon code, and then the button itself, I've changed it to send me my coupon code. Now we are going to be using double opt-in. In other words, when they put their email in here and click on the send me my coupon button, it will send the email that we looked at when we set up our Aweber account, where they have to click on it to approve us to send them emails. Once they do that, they will receive the first email in our campaign. And don't worry, I'm going to show you that in the next lesson. But we want to add some instructions here. And that's because in a minute you're going to see that we're going to be offered an option to use lead pages thank you page, which is where they go after they click on this button, or to create one ourselves. It's much easier just to use the lead pages one. So I want to add some information. And plus, it's going to enable me to show you how you add to your template. All we've done so far is edit what's already there. So I'm going to want to add some text. So in the text box up here, I'm going to left click, drag it down, and I want to put it above the 100% secure. And there we have our text area. And then I'm going to paste in the instructions. You can see here, after you click on the button above, please click on the email confirmation we send you, and you will receive your coupon code immediately. Now right now you can see this doesn't stand out very much. So we're actually going to increase the size and make it stand out. So I'm going to click on bold and then I'm going to click on the font button. I'm going to increase the size till I'm happy. I think that's plenty big enough. Once I've done that, I'm going to click out the box and it's been saved. But you can see there it's nice and clear. Most people understand confirmation emails and don't forget when they receive that it will give them instructions anyway. But it's always a good idea to give them instructions at every step. But I'm going to click on the send me my coupon code button again. And that's going to open up the integrations on the left. Now, notify me, that's just something to do with lead pages. That's not what we're looking for. And we need to click on add an integration. Now, my Aweber is already integrated. It's already been added. When you do this, you won't see anything. So you need to click on more services. And it's going to bring up all the integrations that are possible. Now, when you get to this screen, Aweber is going to be below this line. It's not going to be above it because you haven't connected it yet. And then all you would do is click on it and follow the instructions. It will basically ask you to log into Aweber and then click a button. But I'm going to click on Aweber and you can see it's brought this up. It's an existing account. It's, I can connect a new account if I want. And in fact, let me show you what happens if I try that. You give it a new name, which is two. So and then click connect. And this is the box I was talking about. You can see it's brought you to log in. Once you log in and click allow access, it will have added your Aweber integration. But I don't need to do this as I've already done it. And this is what you will see, except yours won't have a please re-authenticate because you will be already in there. But the one I have already integrated is this one here, Aweber account number one. So I'm going to click on it and then it's going to show me all the lists inside my Aweber account. 
And you'll see there, this is the one we want, Chart Kitchen Office. It's the one we created in the last lesson. But find the list that you created inside Aweber and click on it. And then click on Next Fields. Now the Fields box is basically what appears in your light box. And you can see here, it's choose what info you want from your visitors. Right now we're just asking for their email. So if we want to add a first name, for instance, we click on Add Field. And then we can click on First Name. And then you can just put First Name and then just put first name in the placeholder text. Once you've done that, click on done. Now see we've got two boxes and you also notice we've got two boxes in our light box. So we're looking good. So we click on next follow up. Now this is what I was referring to earlier. You see, this is what the visitor sees after they've put in their information and clicked on send me my coupon code. So you can send them to the default lead pages. You can create a new lead page just as a thank you page, which is a good option. You can actually literally set up a page that gives them all the instructions. You can send them to a URL or they can remain on this page. For the sake of this lesson, I'm just gonna send the user to, to the default lead pages thank you page. But if you're doing this, make sure you add the instructions in the light box. So I'm gonna click on save and close form and we're actually done. We've connected our autoresponder, we've created our light box and we're all good. So I'm just gonna click on the X to exit out of it and I'm happy, I'm gonna publish. All you need to do is click on publish. Now, as you can see, the page was successfully published. It's also giving me the link to the page. When I first set up lead pages, I actually used Henderson Spatulas as my username. So it's actually dropped that in there. But when you set it up with your brand name, you'll have your brand name in there in this URL. So you can, so I'm just gonna copy that link. I'm gonna open a new tab and show you what it looks like. And there you go, there's our landing page. But you can check that it works. You can click on send me my coupon. You can see everything looks right. And it's all looking good. And you can even test it if you want. Absolutely no problem at all. But before you do that, watch the next lesson because we're going to set up our first message in Aweber. But that's it. We've created our first lead capture page. So what's next? Well, now you've learned how to create your lead capture page. In the next lesson, you will learn how and where to implement your lead capture page. Your action, create your lead capture page. But that's it for this lesson. Take care.